Governor Bevin's pension relief plan is now in the final stages from becoming law, but the fate now lies in the final Senate. What this bill does is give the option to certain of those employers. It took less than two hours before the Senate committee advanced Governor Bevin's pension relief bill Tuesday after Democrats argued the bill would affect employees that's been counting on their pensions. House Bill 1 now goes to a bigger stage as it heads to the full Senate. If the bill clears the Senate without any changes, it will go to Governor Bevin for final approval. It aims to bring relief for regional universities and quasi-governmental agencies from massive increases in retirement costs. But Senate Minority Floor Leader Morgan McGarvey argues the bill is a a detriment to the system. There's an unfunded liability. We all agree there's an unfunded liability. But 70 to 75 percent of that unfunded liability rests with people who are retired. This bill doesn't address anything about retirees, so it doesn't fix the unfunded liability. According to Senator Damon Thayer, the bill has enough votes to pass on the Senate floor this morning. Now stay tuned for our continued coverage of day five right here on ABC 36 News. For now, reporting in Frankfurt, Travis Harmon Smith. ABC 36 News.